Hey everybody, it's Bunny, and you might notice something looks a little different about me. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about wigs. Cheap wigs. Cheap wigs from Amazon. Do we have six wigs? Seven wigs? Six? I can't count. The wig that I'm wearing today is not a cheap wig. I actually just finished up another video, which you guys will see shortly. Moral of the story is I've been wanting to film one of these cheap Amazon wig videos for a very long time. It's very laborious to put on a wig cap, and since I already had to do it today, I thought today's the magical day. So I don't know about you guys, like what y'all get up to late at night, what you're into, you don't have to tell me. One of my favorite things to do late at night is to browse weird stuff on Amazon. And a lot of times I am looking at costume related things, wigs, weird makeup stuff, basically because my entire life I'm always preparing for the next Halloween. Like I am literally sort of the embodiment of Jack Skellington. I'm just like, as soon as one Halloween ends, I'm online preparing for the next Halloween. So I had a bunch of these wigs saved already and I was planning on buying them for Vlogoween, but I think Mia Maples was the first person to do a video like this. If not, I'm sorry, I'm trying to give credit to whoever came up with this, but it's a video, kind of a trend that I've been seeing going around on YouTube lately where people order a bunch of these wigs on Amazon that are relatively cheap. And I think I have one that's like super cheap. Um, and then some I think that are around like the 27 to $30 price mark. So some that are a little bit more mid range in price. I thought let's order a bunch of them on a whim, see if they look anything like the picture see which ones are better quality, which ones are worse quality. Most of these, surprisingly, were very high rated. I feel like they all got about a three and a half to four star rating. A lot of them are lace front. I think two of them have bangs. So hopefully we'll get to see a lot of different styles today. Hopefully my video is going to be a little bit different for you guys today. Um, maybe a little bit more costumey. Like a lot of other YouTubers I've seen do this video, they maybe will buy like one or two like more zany, colorful wigs, but then most of the wigs they end up picking are more like natural colors like browns and blacks and blondes and all kinds of stuff like that. But personally, if I'm going to put on a wig, I always want it to be a really shocking, different, vibrant, electric color that I would never dye my natural hair. It was about two years ago I started dabbling into the world of wigs. I think I bought like my first wig from Wish actually. It was a gray one. Uh, then I got a couple of green wigs. So I've slowly just been uh, dipping my toe into the world of wigs. I would love to learn a lot more. Like I've never glued a wig down in my life. Um, I've never like plucked baby hairs out of the wig cap. So I've been trying to watch a lot of tutorials here on YouTube from fellow YouTubers, fellow creators, and I'm really hoping by October that I will be able to really wear wigs more comfortably and more naturally. Anyway, let's start looking at the wigs. The first one we're going to be looking at is definitely the cheapest one and very soon I'm hoping to film on an alien video for you guys. So that is why I got this one. This one is $15.69. I also thought it would be fun to not only have bangs, but also like super short hair for once. So this is a 12 inch straight with flat bangs, synthetic, colorful, cosplay wig. I think it does come with, yes, a complimentary wig cap. So this one looks like one of the more like open fishnetty style. And then you guys can see the wig came with like a hairnet over it. Now, if you guys are preparing for Halloween, this is kind of like one of my costume tips that I will tell you guys early. I highly recommend buying even cheaper costumey type wigs on 
Amazon. I've bought some like bagged costume wigs from like Halloween costume shops and the quality is always like kind of janky. Anytime I even bought these like cheaper, shorter, clearly like intended for costume wear wigs on Amazon, they always have a better quality to them. It's got like these um, baby hairs in the back. When the hair is down like this, it does look like there's quite a bit of hair, but definitely like the minute that you start to kind of like, if you were gonna pull the hair up in a bun or something, like very quickly you can see these super um, open holes, gaps on the wig cap. You know what, I will just turn it inside out so that you guys can see what I mean. Uh, like very quickly, these like more open lattice areas, like you can kind of see that. I'm just gonna flip it on like a baseball cap. Wigs are flying today, I can't see. I'm like Sia right now, but like a green haired Sia. Wow. I feel like with some styling, there is hope for this one. Now I've been looking at some tutorials, like I've said, and I've seen some people say that you can take a little handheld steamer, use steam on synthetic hair wigs to kind of like straighten them, style them a little bit. So I feel like I would definitely do that. I generally don't like when hair natural wig or otherwise has these little like flips at the bottom. I, it's just Mary Tyler Moore-ish to me, which is not the look that I'm going for. This one with a little bit of work and a little bit of tweaking would make a very cute costume wig. I don't know if it looks real enough to be like an everyday wearable wig, but for $15, it has a very nice feel to it. I love the bangs. Um, I don't feel like they're too thick or too thin. Overall, I'm like pretty dang impressed with this one. What do you guys think? Up next is one that I am maybe the most excited about. It's going to be a rainbow wig. It's from a brand called Every Style. Ever Style? Every Style? What are you trying to tell me, wig in a bag? This is called Every Style Lace Front Wig. Rainbow, multicolor, glueless, synthetic wig, long straight for women, natural mix, eight color with free cap, 24 inches. Every single one of these wig listings, like it just goes on and on and on. This one was actually more expensive than I thought any of the wigs were. This one was $39.99, so like right at $40. I feel like some of these Amazon wig listings look a little bit scammy, a little too good to be true, like something you would see on Wish, where you almost get the feeling that the model, the, the actual person they show wearing this wig is probably not wearing this exact same wig. It might be their natural hair uh, that they've dyed rainbow or another super fun color, or sometimes I feel like I'm seeing a picture from like a more expensive wig brand that I've seen on Instagram. Look at this girl modeling this wig, okay? It seems like she does have rainbow hair, but that it's very dark rainbow, you know? And they also show uh, like a braided picture of the wig down there, which sometimes I'm like, is that too dang good to be true? Because I have never been able to braid a wig and get that braid to look very natural. Why am I talking so much? Let's just take the wig out of the dang bag uh, and see what we actually got. Once again, I feel like it's packaged really well. And it seems like all of these wigs, expensive or on the cheaper side, do come with a wig cap. Here is the wig. Once again, it's wrapped in this kind of like protective net and it's got an every style tag on it. Also some paper inside to, I guess, keep the wig in a head-like shape. This is what we have. It actually does look more red in the front than I was expecting. Ooh, it's almost got like a nice pastel wash to it. Some of the colors are more vibrant and some of them are a little bit more muted. Hopefully they're 
coming through really good on the camera for you guys with the lighting. This wig is also super duper long, like probably as long as my natural hair is. This is what the front looks like. We have uh, the lace front on this one. I definitely feel that lace front wigs always look more natural, hands down, than any other type. Um, and then this is what the wig cap looks like on the inside. We've got clips and a band. I don't know what these things are called to help you keep it on your head. I feel like this wig cap definitely looks a lot better than the last one we just saw. Much more natural. Like if I were to pull this hair up, I don't feel like I'd see like holes in the wig cap or anything like the last one. Seems like there's a lot of hair here. Like that's a lot of dang hair. So maybe I would be able to braid this one. I don't know. Let's plop it on and I should probably try and cut the lace front? Should I? I don't know if I should or I should. I feel like I should honestly like take my time with that. So maybe I'll just model them for you guys today. <laughs> I'm, like pulling it down to here. Normally what I do if I'm being quite honest is to always wear hats when I wear wigs. I feel like that's of course the easiest way to hide any like unnatural looking hairlines. I feel like this one is not sitting on my head quite right. I put on a hat and some sunglasses because the camera was overheating. Uh, so I had to give it like a 15 minute break. So I was basically just, you know, costume change, hat, sunglasses. Ooh, whoa, look at the wig. Um, now that I have it on though, I am much less inclined to think that the picture of the girl wearing the wig is a scam. What I think that it is, is, you know, that they just used like an Instagram filter or something to, you know, make the wig look slightly more vibrant, a little bit, you know, darker reds, brighter purples and all of that. Um, but I can use an Instagram filter myself if I want it to look like that but this one is very full very gorgeous actually really impressed as well because I feel like a lot of um, wigs look very shiny so it's pretty easy to tell that they are actually a wig and not somebody's natural hair usually I combat that with spraying the wig really really well with dry shampoo and then brushing it through but I feel like most of the hair here is not not super fake and shiny looking. So maybe people would believe I had rainbow hair. Wig number three is actually $37.80. So definitely when I title this video, cheap wigs from Amazon, everybody's gonna say it's clickbait. This is from a brand called Sapphire Wigs and it's supposed to be a light fluorescent neon green wig. And I literally feel like for some reason, 10 out of 10 of the wigs that I own are green. I don't know why, like somewhere deep, deep inside of me, I wish that I would maybe dye my hair green. This is what this one looks like. Um, it's like just a mysterious black bag. Let's open it up. Uh, and indeed we have, ooh, it's almost kind of like a yellow green. Once again, we have the wig cap and the wig. And I don't remember, I think this one is pretty long as well. Also, I'm pretty confident, I'm also pretty confident that we are actually being shown the wig that we were given because they don't show any pictures of anyone you know, with with this. Looks super duper long. The color is definitely what I was expecting. A very fluorescent lime green. Almost looks a little like if hair could possibly glow in the dark, which has anybody ever done that? Is there glow in the dark hair dye out there somewhere? Hair could possibly glow in the dark. This looks like a hair color that would glow in the dark. Uh, we have paper inside of the head. Once again, lace fronts. And this is what we're dealing with. Very long, once again, kind of wavy, but I feel like this one is one of the more straighter wigs that we've seen. This is what the inside of the wig looks like. Once again, we've got the clips and the little adjustable bra strap. What is this called? This one has the freaking Dracula hairline, which sometimes I feel like somehow looks a little bit more natural on me. But do you guys see what I mean? It's like a... Uh, the hairline is in the, I, what else can you call this besides like a Dracula point? That's it. Time to plop it on my head. Oh boy. Ooh, it looks great. I feel like I don't even put wigs on right. Oh, and we have a tag. 
How about that? There's a ton of hair in here. What are we gonna do with all this hair? My natural hair is sticking out. This looks great. <sighs> this is this wig moderately situated on my head. I'm gonna go ahead and like slide back. The further I get away from you guys, the more natural that it looks. So once again, this is a really long past boob length wig and it looks so pretty. I do feel like a lot of these wigs, actually every single wig I've put on my head today, I should probably be combing. I don't think I've ever had a synthetic non-human hair wig that didn't like tend to get tangled pretty easily. Like I'm sure you guys can see, like I can't, it's, it's actually no different than my natural hair. I am struggling to get my fingers through it at this point. Um, so it definitely needs like a good brushing and like I'll continue to say, a good styling. But I feel like with a little bit of work, this one would look really pretty and, you know, like really natural, but also unnatural at the same time. Wig off. I think the next one that I'm gonna be putting on is the lowest rated one. That is this blue one. Ooh, this one only had like three and a half out of five stars. This one was $40. It's by a brand called Bluebird and it's called the Bluebird Natural Pastel Blue Hairstyle Long Straight Heat Resistant Fiber Blah Blah Blah. Once again, this one is one that could potentially be kind of sketchy because they do show a lot of like real live living people, like not just creepy mannequin heads. The hairline looks very natural on them. So once again, um, I'm sure people are speculating like if that's people that just have their hair dyed that way or if they're actually modeling a wig and specifically this wig. We got the wig cap. Ooh la la. Here is our hair. And did I say this one was like 24 inches? I think this one is another super long one. I think the first one that I tried on is actually the only short one that I bought. This looks really nice. I really like this color. I feel like in person, no, it definitely does look pastel. When I first looked at it all wrapped up and actually like on the camera too, I feel like it's coming out a much more like bright, vibrant blue. But in person, it does look pretty pastel. It's all one color. It's not like, you know, trying to have a more natural color at the roots and then like, you know, a more fun color at the bottom. Wig cap, lace fronts, hair bra in the back. Let's just put it on. Um, I'm glad that I, oh no. Oh, did I speak too soon? Or do I just not know what I'm doing? I don't feel like I've got my hair pulled back like as flat as I could. That was the only thing that I was worried about is if some of the wig caps were gonna feel really small because I have a big gigantic head, okay? It's hard for me to like wear headbands a lot. I feel like they always just squeeze every last brain cell out of my head. If I'm buying a headband, I always have to get like large, sometimes extra large, or I just can't stand to wear it because it gives me like a headache. I'm kind of the same way about wigs. Like normally I only wear wigs like on a super special occasion. Or, like if I'm just like filming a video or like taking fun pictures or something because they do tend to feel like super tight on my head. This is definitely the tightest wig that I have put on today. This is what we're dealing with. No Dracula hairline on this one and it looks like we've got a nice you know, thick piece of lace to work with here. I love this color. Um, I don't know what the negative reviews were. Uh, I don't know what people were complaining about with this wig, if maybe they didn't like the color, if they thought it was gonna be lighter, darker. If you guys have any additional tips for like wig stuff, I would love to hear it in the comments down below. I think somebody told me a while ago that you can soak wigs in fabric softener and it tends to make them look less shiny, more natural, more easy to work with. But if anyone's ever done that, leave me a comment down below because the only thing I'm kind of scared of is like if I soak some of these, like I'm sure really dyed hair fibers in fabric softener, is it gonna change the color? Is it gonna strip the color of the wig? I'm actually like really, happy with this one. This one now might be my favorite one. I have a pile of wigs. 
Oh, 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 oh. Uh, all right, next wig. This one is probably the most naturally colored wig that I got. I'm not gonna lie, when I ordered it, I thought that it was going to be more orange, like Happy Halloween, pumpkin, let's carve a jack-o'-lantern orange, but actually this just kind of looks like a coppery, I don't know, what do you guys think? I think it's showing up once again a little bit more orange on camera and it's a little bit more like reddish, coppery. Ooh, this one is super long too. It's almost like the style of every single wig today is the same and just the color is different. Somebody help me out with that. This one I think was like $30 also uh, $38 and this is from Sapphire Wigs again and it's called Orange Color Natural Hairline Silky Soft. Oh my god this one is literally called Blogger Daily Makeup Synthetic Lace Front Party Wig. Well this is our lovely wig. Ooh look at that swish. Um, I almost want to say the wig cap feels a little softer on this one. It's like kind of like a ruching and clips. Let me put it on and we can see what they mean by a natural hairline. What the heck? I look like freaking Pennywise right now. <laughs> so I guess natural hairline must mean like just a curved hairline and not the whole Dracula thing. So this one actually feels like the most comfortable, largest wig cap of any wig we've tried on today. Um, how do we feel about this color? I am feeling a little Pennywise, a little carrot top. It's kind of one of those different colors. You know what I mean? It's like not quite orange, not quite, um, red. It's actually not red at all. I'm just jabbering right now, but yeah, I don't know. I wish all of the wigs felt this like soft and roomy. I feel like this one would take me like a little bit more to imagine how I'm going to style it, like what kind of makeup and outfit I would put with this one. Um, but hopefully I can wear it to the pumpkin patch this fall and I'm eating pieces of hair. This one maybe has a little bit more layering than the other wigs or am I just losing my mind. That's it for today's video. Be sure and leave a comment down below. Let me know which wig was your favorite, which wig was your least favorite. If you love them all, if you hate them all, I'd like to know. Also, I really had a lot of fun finding all these wigs and testing them out in today's video. So if you guys would like to see more wig videos, let me know. Like maybe I should do one where I only try wigs that are $20 and less. I don't know how many less than $20 wigs that we can find, but if there's a will, there's a way. Or if you guys would like to kind of see the flip side of that, which I have a lot of wigs that I've saved on Etsy as well. It's actually like wigs and hair pieces, but those are a little bit more on the handcrafted, like more expensive, artisanal, art artisanal side. So let me know if you guys would be interested in a video like that as well. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, uh, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so, so much and I will see y'all again very, very soon. Bye!